anchor. So really simple, no tension at all. We don't want any tension on this around the joint of the wrist. No tension coming around nice and loose around there. Yeah? Now we're gonna do the actual thumb tape itself. So with the thumb tape, so like I said before, we'll, we'll have to cut this one, but normally I like the hand terrible one because it's easy to use. We're gonna start on one side of the wrist. We're gonna come around the joint there. Circle around, and then you're gonna finish on the other side. And then you're gonna give that a snip. So you want to have a bit of tension on this tape. So now I'm gonna do the same thing again, coming around the same way. Fan out a little bit, so we're just covering more skin. Coming around, on the back of the thumb, to the outside of the wrist, and then we're gonna give it a snip. Just like that, yeah? And the third one that we're gonna do, we're gonna come around the other way. Exact same thing, coming around. We're gonna make sure that we cover that whole joint there, yes? Yeah? And then give it a snip. And then we're gonna lock it off. Again, no tension at all. Covering that wrist, covering all those ends of the tape. That's it. That's all it is. So common mistakes people make is that this fan is too low and they've actually missed the whole ligament altogether. So you want to make sure you come up nice and high to surround that joint there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep.